Hi, good thing, fitness fam. All right, we're getting started. Inhale up and exhale down. Do it again. Inhale up and exhale down. A couple more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last one. Up and down. Now, we're going to shift our weight side to side. You're going to keep those knees behind those toes. Just doing a couple times. Then we're going to hold it. We're going to stretch through that side and that inner thigh. Make sure you're resting that hand above that knee. Push those glutes back. The weight is in that heel. And you get a nice stretch through the entire side and that inner thigh. We're holding each stretch for about 20 seconds. We're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So go ahead and lift that arm up, shift that weight to the side, knee behind that toe, and same thing, roll the shoulder blade down your back, keep your shoulder away from your ear. And just hold and make sure you're just breathing naturally. Now you can get as low as you want, or you can stay as high as you want, but you just wanna feel that stretch through the side and through that inner thigh. From here, you're gonna press that back heel towards the floor, roll the blades down the back. Go ahead and press those hands out. You get a nice stretch through the upper back and that the back of that leg or your calf. And just breathe and hold. Now again, you can get as low as you like or as low as is comfortable for you. We're gonna switch and do the exact same thing on the other side. Press that heel down towards the floor. Keep that front knee behind that toe, okay? Or in line with that ankle. And this time you're opening up the chest. You can lift those arms as high as you can get them. Get a nice stretch through the front of those shoulders as well as that chest. From here, roll those blades on your back. We're getting ready to stretch out those hamstrings or the back of those thighs. And you go as low as what's comfortable for you. Okay, we're gonna hold, and like I said, each stretch for about 20 seconds. All right, you're gonna roll on up through that spine. And from here, you're going to stretch out that quad. So what you're going to do, the quad is the front part of your thigh. And we're also stretching that hip flexor on that same side. So you're pushing the front of that foot down into, down into that hand. And you're pulling, creating a nice deep stretch in your hip flexor in your quad. And switch legs, same thing. Get that balance. Remember, you can always use a chair, a wall, or whatever to help with, with that balance. Go ahead and press the front of that foot down to the hand and pull up with the hand so you're creating a nice deep stretch. Press that pelvis slightly forward so open up that hip flexor and stretch the front of that thigh. And again, you're breathing naturally, not holding that breath. That's all. All right, we're getting ready to stretch the um, front part of that arm. So you're just extending out, pressing the fingers down. And I'm also marching out, or not marching, but shifting those feet just to um, stretch those calves a little bit more. That's a nice dynamic stretch for the back of the legs. Okay, we're going to switch and do the same thing on the other side. Stretch that forearm out. Make sure those shoulders stay away from those ears. Remember, that's where the body holds the most stress. So let it go. You finished your workout. You just let it all go. All right, we're getting ready to stretch that chest out. So roll those shoulder blades down. You're lifting that chest up towards the ceiling and you're bend does not come from your waist, but actually from the bottom of your upper back or those uh, shoulder blades. You just get a nice stretch of your abs as well as you do this. So 
So you should feel it in your chest, the front of the shoulders, as well as your abs and your, your hip flexors. All right, we're inhaling up. Exhale down. Inhale up again. Right, one arm comes across the front, another across the back. Take a bow.